She was just 15 years old when she ran away from her home in London for life in the so-called Islamic State. Shamima Begum lived under ISIL rule for three years before she was found pregnant in a Syrian refugee camp. This was how she found out she had been stripped of her British citizenship from a letter sent to her mother. Please find enclosed papers that relate to a, a decision taken by the Home Secretary to deprive your daughter Shamim Begum of her British citizenship. In light of the circumstances of your daughter, the notice of the Home Secretary, Secretary's decision has been served on file today, 19th February, and the order removing her citizenship has subsequently been made. So I don't know what to say. I'm not that shocked, but I'm a bit shocked. Begum's request to return home was always going to be a controversial one, yet the government's decision to revoke her British citizenship was also criticised. Their reason? Because her mother was born in Bangladesh, Begum automatically had citizenship of that country. But that was refuted by the Bangladeshi government itself. The Home Office has called the ruling very disappointing. But at the heart of this is not the question of Shamima Begum's citizenship itself, rather her access to her right to appeal. But for the government, it's become a problematic political issue. The move by the British government had effectively left Begum stateless, going against international law. But they maintain that she still poses a security threat. So the idea that you know male fighters who are not of low risk were allowed back, but Shamima Begum had a citizenship stripped only when she appeared in tabloid press is, uh, is the actual uh, question in hand. How is it that her national security risk is higher than others and also only happens to be considered a national security risk some four and a half years after she left, only when she appeared in the press? The government is set to appeal against the ruling, citing national security concerns. The court said Begum couldn't fight the case effectively from Syria and had the right to return to Britain. But Begum's right to return home has divided public opinion and raises questions over whether a 15-year-old girl who left home of her own free will should remain stateless for her decision to do so. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.